Welcome back to Lesson 8, and we are going to encounter the question a little more about who Jesus is. We started a little bit of that last week when we talked about the image of God, but we didn't, you know, we spent more time on God than we did really in the person of Jesus. So when we talk about who Jesus is, you would think it's kind of self-explanatory. Uh, depending on what church you grew up and uh, what church you attend, you will get different views of who Jesus is and what Jesus does. The Bible does say in the book of Hebrews, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That sounds great in theory, except that passage really seems to only ap apply on a personal level. Uh, how we understand Jesus really does develop and change over the years. Jesus being a historical person is not up for question. Uh, there is general scholarly agreement that there is a person who was named Jesus who lived and died in ancient Palestine. Most scholars agree to that. When you move from the realm of historical or archaeological study into theology, that's when the whole topic becomes more complex about who Jesus is, what Jesus does. So, throughout history, Jesus has been viewed through different lenses. Some uh, different ways Jesus has been viewed as a healer, a teacher, a priest, uh, among many different other things, actually. Most Christians would agree that these terms all apply to Jesus and who we view Jesus to be in one way or another. However, I would argue that as you journey through different stages of your life, you will view Jesus differently. Uh, some of those descriptors, uh, whether Christ is a healer or a teacher or those things, will come more to the forefront as who you understand Jesus to be. One thing is certain, as a Christian or any Christian, would view Jesus as our salvation. In the theological world, when we talk about salvation, we have to ask the question, salvation from what? In the last lesson, we talked about sin. And it's not some weird idea of sin that's out there. It's that sin is broken relationship. And salvation is helping us to not hurt each other, not to have wrong relationship. Um, remember how all of us view this stuff differently over time? And I used this quote in the last lesson, John Wesley's question, are you saved and are you being saved? I really do think applies to this idea of how we understand Jesus and how that understanding changes over the course of our lives. Many times in the church we view salvation and we want it to be a once and done deal. Uh, for most things in our lives, a once and done deal is the easiest way to do anything. Jesus, however, teaches that salvation is a relationship. And just like any relationship, you are going to have times where you feel close to God, times where you feel far away from God. Um, and now we're not getting into all the ins and outs of, of what Jesus has done and, and who Jesus is, because we teach a lot of that during the church year, if you pay attention to the sermon. Um, I, I want you to do some work, though, today, or this week, on six passages. So perhaps divide these six up through the week and do one each day. Uh, read these passages and then answer the questions that I give surrounding them, uh, all in your journal. So when we talk about who Jesus is and what Jesus does and how salvation works, one of the most important factors is actually you. Um, just as any relationship, it's a, it's a back and forth. You will only get out of your relationship with Jesus what you put into it. One thing that is clear above anything else, and I, I really do want you to understand this, is that Jesus loves you regardless of the effort you put in. Uh, I think that's always important to remember because it can be, a relationship is hard. It, it, you're going to go through struggles in this. And I also wanted to make it clear that when we talk about being saved, it's not some magical word or phrase. It is a lifelong commitment. 
to trying to live as Jesus taught us to live. So, a saving relationship with Jesus is offered to every single person in the world. And that offer is always open. So, that's important to remember of how this relationship works. But the, the scripture passages I'd like you to work on. The first one is Luke chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. I want you to answer the question, what does this passage say about salvation? The next passage is Luke chapter 7, verses 36 through 50. Again, the first question is, what does this passage say about salvation? But then, what does it add compared to yesterday's scripture? John 3, 16 through 21. You can guess the first question, what does this passage have to say about salvation? Second, what does it add? Third, what does the quote in it, people love darkness, mean? And then finally, what must people do? The next scripture passage is John chapter 4, verses 7 through 30, and then jump ahead to verses 39 through 42. What does this passage say about salvation? What does it add? What made a difference in belief? John chapter 10, verses 7 through 10. What does this passage say about salvation? And what does it add? And finally, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1, and verses 4 through 10. What does this passage say about salvation? And what does it add? I know some of the scriptures that I'm asking you to reflect on are familiar ones. You've heard them before, or you've heard them in passing anyway. Uh, it's sometimes hard to read familiar passages and, and see them differently. One thing I want to encourage you to do, if you, if you know the passage, don't just skim it. Take your time and read it. If you need to change translations of the Bible, do that. Uh, so if you're using an NRSV version, maybe, uh, you know, you can look it up online, look up the message version and type in the scripture, and it should pull it up, and you can read a different version, how it might say something. Do each one of these, one each day, and then when you're done, ask yourself, and this, do this after each one, what do you think? Uh, what does it mean for you to be growing in relationship with Christ. Have a blessed week.